Okay, um, IPSec, uh, just to reiterate uh, some of the points about it, it is an IPv6 protocol. It um, is compatible with IPv4, so you can use it with IPv4 networks. Um, it, uh, <clears throat> okay, it's got two basic functions. Uh, and we'll go into some more details of uh, some of what it uses to do, do this. But anyways, you've got the authentication header, uh, which is authentication, and it's node authentication. This is not user authentication. So you can tell where it came from, uh, but you... Uh, can't tell, you know, who did it. Um, <clears throat> you have, as well, the encapsulating security payload. Uh, this is the encryption part. So, um, as I mentioned, um, if you want to do uh, user authentication, uh, you can encapsulate the uh, information and, and send it through a secure channel for authentication of the user. <clears throat> now, um, there is in, involved in this uh, something known as the Security Auth Association. Um, this is uh, specifying it's it's basically sort of maintained dynamically as a, a sort of a database of uh, channels as it were um, in terms of the stream of information and and what parts of it you do what with <clears throat> so uh, it specifies the destination IP address the protocol that you're going to use, the authentication header or the encapsulating security payload, AH or ESP. Um, and it has a security parameter index. That's just a, you know, a number uh, piece of data to identify this particular channel um, which then uh, specifies what we're doing with it, whether we're doing authentication or uh, encryption. <clears throat> the, you will notice it doesn't specify the origin address because all the security associations are maintained at the originating node. So for a two-way channel, even if you are only using one function, uh, you have to have two security associations, one on the, you know, one end and, and one on the other end, uh, if you're going to communicate back and forth. So, <clears throat> and it doesn't... And, you know, that's not as complicated as it gets. It gets even more complicated than that. Because you can combine security associations. <clears throat> um, there is uh, what's known as transport adjacency, which um, allows you to provide for more than one function without necessarily tunneling and uh, then you can have tunneling where you in fact package one function inside another function so uh, now <clears throat> you can have, uh, for example, encryption 
of the data, if it's particularly sensitive data, wrapped in authentication so that you know where it came from and that it's still coming from this same originating node and wrapped in another layer of encryption so that nobody knows that you're doing the authentication. And so it goes. You uh, can get into you know, a lot of combinations and these all have their own security associations every time you uh, add another function. Um, you've got another security association. Well, as a matter of fact, two security associations because presumably you're doing the same thing on both ends. Now, the processing of IPsec um, not only because of the complexity, but even with a simple uh, encryption function requires a lot of processing. I uh, had one class um, that had uh, several people who were um, involved in, in trying out IPsec uh, for their companies. And uh, they, you know, established a network and as soon as they implemented IPsec on the network, uh, and of course this network was, you know, reaching remote offices and that sort of thing. Uh, that's, you know, basically the purpose of having IPsec. Uh, basically, nothing would happen. Nothing would get through. Um, in order to get at least some traffic to go through, they found that they had to reduce the key length. Originally, they had implemented 128-bit uh, keys. And they found that if they reduced it, cut it in half to 64-bit keys, then they were able uh, to actually get at least some traffic through. Um, but it was still fairly slow. So, uh, note the uh, processing overhead. Now, uh, this was quite a while ago, and, and certainly, uh, you know, machines have been getting more powerful all the time, but uh, still, uh, you know, note that there is a processing overhead involved with implementing IPsec. Uh, 